Hi, I'm Kendra with Words of Moon Astrology, and today I am talking about the sun, sextile, moon. So, I'm going to talk quickly about the sun's energy and the moon's energy. The sun is your conscious will. This is your ego, where you're consciously directing your focus, the traits that you take pride in, etc. Um, the moon is going to be your unconscious emotional expression, your knee-jerk emotional reactions, how you react to things emotionally. And the sextile between these two planets, um, the sextile is an easy aspect like the trine. The difference between the S, uh, the trine and the sextile is that the, with the trine, the energy is ever-present, it's effortless, it is natural in your personality, almost unconscious because it's just so easy that it's, it can almost be taken for granted, whereas the sextile shows potential and growth. So this is kind of an aspect of your personality that you can grow into and make it more um, available in your personality, or it's kind of an energy that you can call upon. So just a quick, for instance, I have Mercury sextile Mars on my birth chart. Well, I'm not really like explosive, like, you know, with maybe a hard aspect between Mercury and Mars. Um, I'm generally pretty relaxed, but when I get to that point where I know that action must be taken, I can easily call upon the energy of Mars in um, my communication style to you know, attack with logic, <laughs> which is very Mercury Mars. Um, but the sun sextile the moon, this is showing compatibility and um, ease, potential between the ego and the emotional nature. So basically what this is saying is that your ego and your emotional nature are in perfect compatibility. They work together very well. And um, honestly, sextile signs, I really prefer the sextile to the um, trine just because it is so it's an aspect of growth and it shows where you can really make the most of this and it won't be taken for granted in your personality. So um, my daughter actually has this, sun, sextile, the moon, and Aquarius and Aries. And it's really just an aspect that shows that you can easily, you easily identify with your emotional nature. It's easy for you to have emotional expression. It's not something that you can't deal with. Like I didn't, in my uh, Sun Square the Moon video, I talked about how there can be kind of an offense. You can kind of take, um, there can be um, ego sensitivity because your emotions and your um, ego are just, there's so much conflict there that you can be very sensitive. Um, there's a lot of compatibility with sextile signs. So there's, while they are different, they're in different elements, they're in different modalities. Um, they work together very easily. So you can easily express your emotional nature, even though it's it's different than your sun sign. So you call upon the energy of the moon in your personality and you can easily consciously express that. It's not something that's so easy that it's taken for granted, but it is something that you can easily do. It's There's no, um, there's not like a whole lot of ego sensitivity going on there. Although I think really any aspect between the sun and moon can show some ego sensitivity, there's not this huge conflict to where it can be explosive like that. So you, your ego is not offended when you are expressing the traits of your moon sign. There's not this feeling of intense vulnerability. There is vulnerability, but it's not, it's not such a conflict for you. Um, the moon is a vulnerable place in your personality regardless if there's any aspect to it just because it's the moon and it's your heart but you know with the sextile it's just such so they're just such compatible signs that it's not going to be really really difficult for you to express that you can easily do it and there can be you can be very emotionally nurtured by um, the creative energy of the sun. So you would probably take a lot of emotional comfort from creative activities. Um, you would really enjoy praise. You would really like to hear that you've done well. Um, you would re It's the energy of Leo. Sun has to do with Leo. Moon has to do with Cancer. So you would, first of all, with the sun, sextile, the moon, you could easily find uh, that you like to express your, yourself consciously in the context of a more private home environment. And with the moon sextile the sun, you really take a lot of emotional comfort from being told that you've done well, from being praised, from engaging in activities that um, put you at the center of attention.
it's a it's a really nice aspect. I really like any sextile between two planets. I think that is probably my favorite aspect because it just shows um where you can really grow over time and I've I've noticed that at least with the sextiles in my chart, it's a part of myself that I continue to move into as I get older. It kind of grows and I'm more and more able to express those two planets together as I get older and as I get more comfortable with those two energy energies individually, I can make them work together um, in a more positive way. I'm let like with a Mercury sextile Mars, I'm way less um timid about expressing my opinion. I'm not nasty, which can happen with a, a difficult Mercury Mars aspect, but I can easily express my true opinion and um you know, I have more of that warrior energy in my communication style as I get older. So um, again, sextile is like, I think my favorite aspect. So this is a nice one. That is the end of my sun sextile moon video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I did want to remind you that I offer all kinds of readings in my store, which is uh, the link is in the description of this video. Um, I offer birth chart readings. I offer individual planetary report readings, which would be an intense focused look at one particular planet in your birth chart, the rulership, the aspects, etc. cetera. Um, so all inclusive type stuff, more, more inclusive even than, you know, reading that planet in the context of a birth chart reading. So I really hope you enjoyed this video once again and have a great day.